Welcome back to Daily Connections. If you're looking to give the perfect holiday gift this season, then creating your own basket could be the way to go. It allows you to incorporate many small, inexpensive gifts and even select a theme. But to really wow the recipient, how you design the basket is key. So I've invited Michelle Kotarski to share her secrets with us. She's the owner of Bellissimo, which specializes in unique gift baskets, among many other things. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you, Meredith. Oh, it's great to have you. Now, I know you've brought a lot of different examples mm -hmm. for how we can build baskets and great gifts for people. So we can start off with this one. This is just, look at all of this. Now, I noticed that you're using a color theme. Is that one of the keys to creating a good gift basket? Yeah, and that's going to be the most important thing because color is what your eye is going to see. So you don't want too many colors, um, two or three at the most, but you try and stick with that. Really? So you can take just something simple as a desk organizer, which is pretty by itself, mm -hmm. but then you want to add some things to it to make it special and give it some style. So how would you put all of this together? So you want to take items that they're really going to use because these are practical gifts and giving a gift basket doesn't mean it has to be in a basket. It could be any sort of container. Oh, I like that. So practical. You're going to put what goes in a desk organizer, envelopes, personalized labels. Anybody with a home computer can make these labels oh, or you can purchase that's them. Pretty. Stationery, personalized stationery, a box of note cards. We all email, but personalized stationery really is special when it you makes get a such an impact when you get a little note. note from someone. Paper clips, put them in a cute little bag and put a piece around. Look at that, ordinary paper clips, and yet suddenly you put a ribbon on them and they look fancy. And, <laughs> and then just other little things, again, you're coordinating colors. A notebook, journal, pads, little tabs. And you're just going to, you can adhere them with glue dots. We like to use glue dots. To glue dots. Glue dots. Oh. And they stick like... Now can I get these myself like a craft store yes. or something? Yes. You can get them in the craft store. You can use really? scotch tape if you want. Oh, these are so cool. Now you'll never get it off your finger. I love it They're though. Fun. This would be great for um, wrapping presents. Too. They're awesome. Oh, It wow. looks so professional. Good so hit. if you want, you can use your glue dots to make things stand up. Like if you want to stick that on there, okay. anywhere, I can get it and then you can put it, you can adhere it. You would need a couple. Uh huh. You would need another one on this side, but then it'll stand it up in it. That's so cute. Same thing with these if you want to make it appear larger. Now I notice you've got a flower going on here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a pen. And you just wrapped it with floral tape? Floral tape. It's a plain old Bic pen. How cute floral is Floral tape, stick a, fl a flower. That's adorable. And if you adorable. want, put it in the flower pot. So you can put it either with or without the pot. Mm -hmm. And then... That's so cute. You need a little chocolate. Of course. Every gift desk. is sweeter with some chocolate. You're sitting at your desk and need a little energy. <laughs> so you can place all the items in and then take this also craft stores. Great source for all sorts of things. You're just going to start tucking, pulling and tucking. This is a different type of shred. Mm -hmm. And you just use your colors that coordinate. And you do want it to hang out because you don't want it to, to look, um, you want it to look like you made it, like it was made special. So making it perfect and perfectly finished isn't the idea. No, it's really not. It's having fun with the color. And I guess the theme too. Exactly. And then if you want to add a little bit of brown, just kind of sprinkle that around. And then if you want, you can put it, um, you can wrap it in cellophane, mm -hmm. which you can get any at any craft store also, and but you don't have to wrap it even in cellophane. You can just add a pretty ribbon. I like organza. It's just whatever you like. How pretty. And then if you can tie your shoe, you can tie a bow. I love that. That's beautiful. All right. One down. Here's another. This is going to take about, take you a minute to do. Again, just pick your colors. I'm using pink and brown again. Plain old mug. Now, a mug gift is so typical, yes. but this is really making it different and special. Right. And this is great to re-gift, because you know you get mugs all the time. Teachers get mugs all the time, so re-gift it. It's so true. And you've pulled the color out of the mug yes. into, what do we have here? This is sipping chocolate. It's a gourmet chocolate, but the tin, they'll keep the tin and they'll use that. If you want to use your glue dots, you can. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Just put it on top. You can actually use some more. I'm going to steal some of this, excuse me. Oh, sure. Because I'll show you how you can use the same items. And you can fill that on the top. And you can place your tea. And then how you can use little tissue that? squares just to give it a little more color. And just tuck them around. 
Now, how do you do that again? I'm going to do that while you while you wrap this in the thing. Let's just take two or three or four, however many you'd like. Mm -hmm. And then just as exactly what you're doing. That's it. I love it. See? That's you're hired. So and so we would just pop this in the cellophane bag? Yeah. You, well, no, you would attach it to the, uh, to the gift, however, mm -hmm. using the glue dots. Now, if you put this in the bag, which we're not going to do right now, but then raffia. Raffia I love on raffia. Top. Tie a ribbon. Excellent. Now, you've got our next one. This looks like a spa. It is. Um, books are great gifts. You can use it as the base. So this book is about... Bath and Body Spa. That's that's what makes the difference because you get things and you might put them in a bag and they're floating right. around. You get this and then are we going back to our glue dots again? Well, this I shrink wrapped the book to protect it. Oh. If you don't have shrink wrap, which again the craft stores, but if you don't have it, you can just wrap it in cellophane. But it protects the book because the glue dots will kill the book. Ah, oh, that makes so, sense. So yes, you're going to take your glue dots. Good advice. And. You're just going to stick and you're going to watch your colors. Because we've chosen blue and lavender for this. Mm -hmm. You can put all the, secure them on. Here I am with the chocolate again. <laughs> this is friendship chocolate for your friend. I want to be your friend. Tell it's chocolate. Give me the chocolate and I'll be your friend. <laughs> Cello bag. Now this I made on the computer also. So it's just a little saying. These are so pretty. So a little tag and you're making it personalized by right. creating it on your computer and creating these little elements exactly. and putting it together. And would you start with the book in this example? I would, yes. And if you wanted to and do this building? the same gift if for a friend who cooks, do a cookbook and then put some items on top. And then on items top. on top. So just it all needs to go. Now this tag, mm -hmm. you can even put letters. This is from my friend Pam Small, so PS. Oh, with their initials. Her initials. How and that pretty. would go on the outside. All right, we have a final idea here, and okay. I love this one. This is just this pretty wire basket. Oh, excuse mm -hmm. me. That we've put kitchen towels oh. in. And right there, we started with something that everybody can use. Right. The kitchen Absolutely. towels. The kitchen towels. And we can start this based on when we know their, what the colors we know mm -hmm. their kitchen is, or whatever that yes. might be. And then we're adding things in. This is a box of cookies already just gourmet cookies. You can put these on the bottom to give it some height. Mm -hmm. But this is for my friend who bakes. Oh. So these are all different baking mixes. And you just want to nestle I them love in. That. So you, she's got something ready made to eat. And then she's right. got fun, fun things to uh, bake herself. So while she's waiting for them to finish baking, she's snacking. A little coffee, some hot cocoa. And again, cello it all up. So our key tips is definitely go with two or three colors, right? Yes. Don't get too crazy. Mm -hmm. Start with one item that's your favorite that you really think that they're going to love. Yeah. Or a theme such as, you know, baking. Mm -hmm. You said your friend loves to bake. And build on that theme, keeping within the color scheme. Exactly. And have fun. It looks like, you know, you've, you've kind of built, you've piled things on top and built things together. Yeah, and you can really fill this up with this crinkle so that it's really massive oh, and your wow. personalized tag those are the little touches that make that it really special. make a difference and I know you brought a finished basket yes. here oh look at that that's for a little more advanced uh-huh but the container is actually a suitcase oh, let's show this in the back suitcase. there it's a little suitcase made out of kind of leather or cardboard and it's then you've actually put things in here like don't be afraid to, if, if something's not standing up Grab right. some cardboard or something? Well, for this, the base is actually, you can use at home, you can use news, newspaper. So you ball it up and you make it. Fit How first, pretty. that's the first step. And then you just start building. The glue dots are indispensable for something like this. So hit your craft store. The glue the dots are going to help you. The tissue paper, mm -hmm. that really makes it special. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. I appreciate having you thank here, you. Michelle.